Hey everyone, Mighty Benaya here. Wanted to give you a day three update before I finished off this enemy, before I finished off Portuguese Mozambique. Um, as a quick recap of what happened, he had moved all of his troops down to deal with South Africa. And so I moved in and took this province, province without any casualties whatsoever. I also moved down and took this province and this province um, once he noticed that I was moving into his territory, he moved 30 troops from these provinces up here to counter and try to take back this territory. I gave him that territory free and clear without putting up a fight. I didn't have any troops in it, and he just marched into it with his 20 troops and then started marching south while I took uh, 20 troops approximately uh, maybe 25 troops and marched from this province to this province um, and he had 10 troops stationed there i took the troops that were originally in this province and moved them up to help defend and when and then i went to sleep when i got up this morning i had taken this province and he had moved troops down so what i'm doing is i'm taking his last province and once i take that all of his troops disappeared. So what I have essentially gained is a number of provinces, and I've lost six troops. Uh, this game is very much so a game of time and resource management. Um, time management in regards to, you know, distance is um, you need to understand how far things are so that you understand how long they take. Um, Spankerton says Distance is defense, and I agree with him on that. Um, so it's time management, but it's also resource management. I've only lost six troops, and I've gained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. Um, and I'll probably lose a seventh troop in this combat. So one troop per province is really, really good, especially considering some guys up here... If we look at the newspaper, they've lost 50 troops for very little gains. So now, um, as far as what I'm going to spend gold mark on, I am going to rush a harbor here. As you can see, my fish is still having issues. Um, so food, I'm losing 254 fish an hour. So I am not going to increase morale. Instead, I am going to uh, decrease the time on creating a harbor and that does a couple of things for me so i'm going to build workshops and then i'm going to build the harbor and then i am right there at the very beginning able to create navy if i need to go deal with uh, madagascar um, or if i need to come south south africa has 17 troops in the water um, that are essentially out of the fight um, he was coming to take this province i think and it's not going to happen for him. Uh, he has 14 troops here. He has lost 30 troops in his bid to take <clears throat> uh, Maputo, which was originally the capital for Portuguese Mozambique. So he lost a bunch of troops in that, in that attack. He probably doesn't have very many troops over here. So my thought is, pending um, where I get right-of-ways and pending how all of this works out, um, I'm going to build that harbor and then potentially go after South Africa. If I can go after South Africa, then I have a corner, so I'm no longer defending all of my territories. Um, I have right away currently with Congo, but I'm not sure how long that will last, and I'm really not sure how long this piece is going to last here. Um, German Nambia did send a bunch of troops south to take this province, I'm assuming that he will go in and try to take these two provinces. But that gives us a big border, and I really am starting to think that perhaps um, he and uh, Portuguese Angola and Congo are going to be uh, rivals because I can see that Portuguese Angola has traveled through either through Congo lands or he landed troops up here. I'm not sure which, um, but I know that German Cameroon is very weak right now. Um, and I know that um, 
South Africa is very weak. So I'm going to look for opportunities to see where I can strike. Since this is a solo game, I don't want to join their coalitions, but I don't want to make enemies of them right away because I don't want to be double, triple teamed. That's all that I have right now. If you want to keep seeing content like this, go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Soli Deo Gloria. Until next time.